Tonight, we are learning more about a miscalculation about the thousands of people killed in Puerto Rico during and after Hurricane Maria. It was initially reported the official death toll was 64, but as we reported yesterday, a new study found that number is actually 4,645. News 6's Nadine Giannis joins us live now from UCF. And Nadine, you spoke to a sociology professor studying what's happening in Puerto Rico. What did he say about these new numbers? Well, Professor Fernando Rivera was uh, shocked but not surprised. He has been studying what has happened on the island for the last several months now, and he says that it left behind substantial damage, knowing this number would be higher, but also knowing that the resources just weren't there to get an official death toll count. He, along with other politicians today, say that it is a substantial underestimate of what the government of Puerto Rico said it was. I wasn't terribly surprised. UCF sociology professor Fernando Rivera has been studying the impacts of Hurricane Maria both on the island in Puerto Rico and here in central Florida, reacting to a Harvard study released yesterday that squashed the official death count of 64 after the storm, finding more than 4,600 people died as a result. Felt like it was a little low. Uh, the initial number that was given, but I understood the realities of the ground of what was going on in Puerto Rico. Professor Rivera gave the government of Puerto Rico the benefit of the doubt when counting, saying conditions on the island made it nearly impossible for officials to get certified death certificates. Still, he says it underestimates the tragedy this storm had. So if they have dialysis or some type of medical treatment that they needed electricity, you know, the, the, the consequences of that uh, probably were going to be uh, fatal uh, in that sense. Local Democratic leaders responded as well. I was both shocked but not surprised. We saw in Katrina the death toll went from a few hundred to thousands. And I really think there needs to be reform in how the federal government is determining which deaths are associated with uh, hurricanes and other disasters. Oh, it's breathtaking. This is a humanitarian crisis. It's an economic crisis. And frankly, it's a moral crisis. Uh, the inaction of the federal government in the aftermath of this hurricane is unconscionable. And so that last person that you heard from was the Democratic National Chairman, Tom Perez. He is in Central Florida today to round up specifically Puerto Rican votes. Julie, we're going to talk about the number of Puerto Ricans who have come to Central Florida, why that number is so controversial, and how these Puerto Ricans can change the political climate this midterm election. That in my story at 5 o'clock. Nadine, thank you. Nadine Yanos reporting live for us.